Hey, it's Professor Wolver from dragondropcode.com. I'm going to show you how to build a travel app. And what we want to do is, I don't know, have a couple buttons and I'm just going to resize these buttons. And on the button, it's going to say some words in, in English, like, you know, where is the bathroom? Um, but you could think of all kinds of different sayings you might want to say. So I've got one that says that. And then I'll bring another button on. I can make these look beautiful. I could put an image instead of the text, but you know, um, for now, let's leave them their way are. Um, so I want uh, Coca Cola. Okay. And what we're going to do is make it when you click these buttons, uh, it'll say those words in Spanish, right? So we're going to use translate. There's a nice translate block, which is easy to use. Um, so I've got one button which I'm going to rename it. So if I go up here and click, I can rename this button. I'm going to call it the bathroom button. And then I'm going to call this the Coca-Cola button or the, let's just call it the Coke button. Okay, so I've got two buttons. Notice I'd leave part of the name is what type of thing it is. It's a button, so I can remember that. Uh, so I've got these two buttons. Right now, if I run my app, nothing happens, of course. I click on and nothing happens. Okay. Um, but I go back to editor, go to my blocks. And what I want to do is when the bathroom button is clicked, I want it to say in Spanish, whatever the words were on my button. And maybe I don't even know, right? I don't know Spanish. Let's say I know a little bit, but um, I'm going to use that translate block to do the work for me. Okay. And you can even make it where the user could type something and it would translate whatever they type. Uh, but let's just start with this. And what we want to do is go down here to speech and there's this translation block. Okay, it's going to be gray until we stick, stick it into the event handler. And what I want to do is actually speak this. So I'm going to grab a say block and it gets a little bit tricky, right? But I want to put my translate. Let me move myself out of the way. So right now, I'm going to translate. Um, I want to translate hello right now from English to Spanish. But really, what I want to translate is whatever's on this button. In this case, where's the bathroom? But I don't want to say where's the bathroom. I want to make it so if I change what's on the button, it'll still work. So, what I'm going to do is instead of putting hello here, I'm going to go to the bathroom button. And there's this light green block, like set means I can change what's on the button, you know, the text on the button, but I can also look and see what's on the button or my app can. So I'm gonna grab this light green block. And I'm gonna say, I wanna translate whatever, you know, whatever's on that bathroom buttons text. I know it is, you know, where's the bathroom and I'm gonna translate it from English to Spanish. And then I'm going to say it, and I'm going to say it in Spanish as well. So I just need to scroll down and grab Spanish um, so it'll have the right indentation. Uh, let's see, where, sorry, where's Spanish? There we go. Okay, so let's, let's try it. Um, and, you know, we can test this first button before we even do anything with the second button. But if I click on where's the bathroom. ¿Dónde está el baño? Donde está el baño? Okay, so I translated and said it, and it was a little bit tricky because, you know, my say block has a parameter, which is what the first parameter is, what, what it's going to say, and I stuck a whole nother function call in there, which was translating whatever's on the button from English to Spanish. Um, and let's just make me even smaller here so you can actually see this thing. And of course, we wanted to say it in Spanish, right? Uh, so it'll have, it'll sound correct. Okay, so anyway, I can do the second button pretty quickly. I can go to Coca-Cola button. I'm gonna use Command C and Command V to copy the Coca-Cola button. Of course, I wanna grab Coca-Cola button's text and translate it. And let's see how, how it does with that one. Quiero una Coca-Cola. Kira una Coca-Cola. <laughs> so anyway, a couple of things here. Um, we've got two event handlers still. In this case, the operation is a function call to say, but the parameter of that say, the, the text to be trans, you know, the text to be spoken is actually a function call to translate, which translates something for us, and then we speak that. 
but anyway, and what we have, it's kind of ugly right now. You can make a lot more beautiful, but you could think of building a travel app for yourself where you think of, you know, the top five, you know, terms that you want to be able to quickly just touch on your app and be able to, to, to find out how to say those things. Uh, so, you know, we're, we've barely learned any thunkable, any coding so far, but you've already got some powerful stuff where you can, you know, you could, you know, might use this for, for your real life.